frequencies, everybody. Happy, happy full moon in Cancer, y'all. I am a sun in Cancer. And um, I really want to say happy full moon in Cancer this first full moon of 2023, which is in my sun sign, which is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm loving the uh, energy of it because what I learned last night, because I always look at three days, three days before the full moon and three days after the full moon, we're st we are still in that full moon energy. And it has brought about a lot of communication it has brought about a lot of communication within me and not holding, withholding uh, my emotions and feelings to be projected to those who need to hear it. Um, as a lot of people always say, cancer signs are very emotional, moody people. Um, and yes, we are. <laughs> I am. I can be very emotional. Um, and though sometimes those emotions within oneself can get misconstrued because if you are not communicating effectively, if you're not sharing how you feel about something, that energy starts to build up within you. And then it's like once it gets to a boiling point, then you boil over and it may not come out in the most high frequency way. And so... I'll share kind of like with me and what I used to do and how I had to grow out of it and um, as I've been on my spiritual journey I've learned how to be better is that if something doesn't sit well with me if something doesn't feel good what I used would what I would do in the past so close what I would do in the past would be hold it in I wouldn't share, I wouldn't say anything. I would be like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna let it be, let it ride. Hopefully, you know, they'll change or they won't do that. And then it continued to happen. So what I learned was that one of the things that holds true is that people will treat you how you teach them to treat you. And that is such a true statement. So in this Cancer Full Moon, that's one of the lessons that I'm taking for me that I'm sharing with you is that people will treat you how you teach them to treat you. And you have to teach people how to treat you. And in my mind, I thought, hey, you know, if I'm sending out this type of frequency or vibration or energy, that they'll know how to handle me and they'll understand my value. Well, some people don't and it's okay because they're used to doing things in their own certain way. So it's up to us, especially during this full moon energy, is to allow ourselves to communicate effectively how we feel about certain things in our lives, particularly relationships, all right? And this could be... Um, a romantic relationship this could be a friendship this could be a family member this could be within um, um, a work relationship dynamic but you have to effectively communicate if you don't within this energy now in 2023 as we roll into the year of the rev if you don't then like I've said before you'll be the one that'll be penalized for not communicating effectively and holding it in because you're not doing anything but hurting yourself because the other person don't even know you feel that way about it they may think you feel the way that they feel and it's okay um about a couple of weeks ago i had a dream about my throat chakra i had a dream that it was this child doctor and his father he worked with his father but he was smarter than his father. And I came into the office to talk to the child. And the child looked to be anywhere between 8 and 10 years old. He was a child. But he was like a doctor or a surgeon of some sort. And he went in to my throat chakra. He went in and looked into my throat chakra. 
And when I woke up from that dream, I knew that that blockage had been released. That was just an astral realm spiritual experience that occurred in that dream to allow me to know that that blockage or me holding back what I want to say and not saying it out of fear or uneasiness or I won't sound right or um, not lack of confidence was removed and each time that I share and communicate effectively to those around me I grow more and you do too so utilize this full moon energy to first when you wake up um, go into a meditation just breathe that's the first thing we need to do when we wake, wake up breathe 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 take in a nice deep breath a few times and just feel into your body and then what I do from there I go into meditation Sometimes I go into a guided meditation, something on YouTube that I already have in my um, playlist. And I don't have to take much energy just to get to it. And I go to that and I play it and let those codes download into my subconscious, into this subliminal programming. All right. And th doing the subliminal programming. And allow that to start reprogramming your thought process where you know you are enough. You know, and then I start intoning affirmations to myself. All right. So I'll, I'll think about, I'm like, yeah, I am good enough. Yeah, I am worthy. I am valuable. I am of value. You know, I'll start intoning these words to myself and being my own cheerleader and empowering myself. And that's very important during this time as those of us who are working on regaining our voice. And then once we regain our voice, implementing it with power and authority and confidence and knowing that it's okay during this time. All right. So during this Cancer full moon, this watery energy, um, and remember that water takes on the form of whatever it's in. If it's in the pot, it takes on its form. If it's in the cup, it takes on its form. You can put it in an ice tray and sit it in a freezer and it's going to take on the cube. So it takes on the form of whatever it's in. We are 70% water. Okay? So if we are filling ourselves up and intoning these affirmations and reprogramming ourselves, that water within us is going to take on that form. And we are internally transmuting energy. Just like I had you all do the ritual with the water, the diffuser, or boiling the water in the pot. It's changing forms. That water within us that may have been programmed to a lower frequency of negative self-talk, or not allowing people to treat us the way we want them to treat us because we haven't verbalized it to them. But first we have to verbalize it and communicate it to ourselves. So once we verbalize and communicate it to ourselves, that helps to create the confidence. And then at that point, we're more confident within ourselves because now whatever trauma that has occurred from when we were in the belly of our mother, or even cosmically when we drop down from the star system into a lower frequency into this 3D reality. All these traumatic experiences that we have within a 3D form in our avatar, we are transmuting that to a higher frequency because we are water. We are majority water beings and it's easily to adapt. Water takes on the form of whatever is in, okay? So that is what I want you all to take with this. That's what's coming in for me. And it's really good because as we move further through this year, especially when we get into the new year, for some of us it's January the 22nd if we follow the Chinese calendar. For some of us it's March when we go into the spring equinox. All right, and we have equal light and day. Equal, equal, equinox. And it all has to do with the tilt of the earth on its axis. How much nighttime or daylight um, that we have or sunlight raw that we have. Um, that we end 
end up having the new year. No matter when it starts for you, this is the time to build. Because once you learn how to communicate to yourself effectively, you're building up that internal fortitude to feel like you can accomplish and do anything just by how you speak to yourself and how you teach others how to treat you. And now you are setting the stage up to be able to will things to you. All right, you can't will things to you with the lack of confidence. You can't will things to you when your throat chakra is blocked and you don't know how to communicate effectively to people. Then you miss out on a lot of things that should or could have uh, been a part of your reality because you didn't know how to bring it in through verbalizing it. I, and I feel like, for me, I really feel like verbalizing it effectively starts with communicating first to yourself and then those people around you, those relationships, those interactions of those people around you, now they know how to treat you and value you. You started out knowing how to treat yourself and value yourself, and then they do it, and then the universe conspires and gets in alignment because it sees that, hey, you know, he, she doing it for themselves. They have other people who now know how to treat them, and they're showing them, you know, because the outward is just a reflection of the inward. It's nothing outside of us, all right? So how people are treating you is a direct reflection of how you're treating yourself. So it starts inwardly. So that communication is huge. And then just allowing yourself to be open to what the universe has in store for you once you uh, freely communicate to people. And then just allow things to flow. Just allow things to flow. Really, I don't. Every time I get into my neighborhood, y'all, it's always something. They either cutting down trees or digging holes. My mom, you never know. But, um, yeah, that is my Cancer Full Moon message. First and foremost to myself. And then to anybody else who watches this video or comes across this video. This message is definitely timeless. Although it's the Cancer Full Moon. Um, and this message came to me during this time. But, however... <laughs> If you haven't started doing the work, no matter when you watch this, that's the first thing you want to do. And I've just given you um, my blueprint. And um, if you don't have anything in place, then try it. It's been working definitely for me. All right. So um, I want you all to have a wonderful, fantastic, high frequency, amazing, beautiful, creative, communicative day and as always I leave you in peace and high frequencies